Hey everyone, this is Dylan here, and today I have a video of trichomonas for you. So this was obtained from a wet prep, and what that is is a collection uh, from a patient's vagina with a wooden swab and has a little cotton tip. And so that gets put into a little uh, vial of normal saline, and that gets brought to the lab. And so when we get it in the lab, you're going to vortex it up and then just take a drop and put it on a slide and then put on a cover slip and look at it underneath the microscope. So that's how this specimen was obtained. Uh, and this is with the 40 times objective lens. And, and you're, you're gonna wanna look at this within an hour. Um, so yeah, this is trichomonas and two of the other main things you're gonna be on the lookout for uh, when you're looking at a wet prep are yeast and clue cells, which is indicative of Gardnerella vaginalis. And the fourth thing, uh, in total would be uh, sperm that you can report. It's not really that important, but our policy was if you saw it, you would uh, report it as well. And so yeah, this is this uh, patient was positive for trichomonas. And uh, one of the key things you're gonna be looking out here is definitely make sure you see motility. Uh, so, you know, our policy is that you can't call it unless you see motility. Otherwise it could be a false positive. You could be misinterpreting uh, just a stagnant uh, WBC or some type of brownie in motion potentially. So definitely make sure you see those uh, flagella moving and a uh, really strong movement of the trichomonas before you call it. Um, yeah, so that that's you know something to be uh, on the lookout for. Uh, and you only need one to call it positive, uh, which is a di bit different than clue cells, but I'll cover that in a different video. And uh, yeah, just make sure you're confident when you see it and then call it positive. And then in terms of treatment, it's just going to be metronidazole. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you know a little bit more about uh, uh, the wet prep and uh, trichomonas. Thanks.